The motion is adopted. On a mostly party-line vote, House Democrats today passed President Obama's plan to extend the Bush-era tax cuts only for couples making less than $250,000 a year and individuals making less than $200,000. But the plan has no chance in the Senate. Some Republicans called the vote a political charade. Republican speaker-to-be John Boehner was more blunt. It's a chicken crap, all right? The real action on Capitol Hill is behind closed doors, where administration officials are meeting with Republicans to find a compromise. If they fail, all tax rates will rise in January. On another burning issue involving trillions of dollars, the president's bipartisan debt commission votes tomorrow on a plan to cut deficits by $3.9 trillion over the next nine years, with a combination of painful spending cuts and tax hikes. Of the commission's 18 members, nine have said they'll vote yes, four no, and five are undecided, making it unlikely they'll get the 14 votes it takes to send the plan to Congress. Boehner, using more of his colorful language, made light of the entire plan when asked if he would bring it up next year. If ands and buts were candy and nuts, every day would be Christmas. Back on the tax cuts, uh, sources say the most likely compromise is extending all of the cuts for two or three years. But today the White House said any reports that a deal is near are premature and inaccurate. Katie? Chip Reed reporting from the White House tonight. Thank you, Chip.